what my plans are for going home is I'm going to stop back at the abandoned location. That's probably why you clicked on this video. This is a, a part two to the exploring the abandoned Greyhound lot. Now the reason I'm gonna stop back there is because I was going through some of the footage that we, we got the last time we were there and I noticed that there were two rooms in particular that we did not go into. And I want to go explore that because if I don't, then the anticipation is going to kill me of what's in there. And there's currently like a court battle going on to see who owns it, who actually owns that property. And so I'm afraid that if I don't go and check it out uh, soon, that the next time I go by, it might not even be there because they might have settled the court case and whoever actually owns it might decide to take it down. And so that's what I'm really kind of nervous about. And so that's one of the reasons why I'm going back today. So I'll pick this back up probably rather soon. But yeah, it's still like an hour or two before I actually get there. All right, we're finally back in the town um, that the abandoned place is in. Uh, anyway, I'm getting back on the highway right now, so I'll pick this up when I get there. I go in a little disclaimer if anybody who's watching this video happens to be a part of the people who own the place just know that I'm not entering on the facts to harm your property I'm not entering to to destruct anything that's there uh, I'm simply going to look because it's just places that are abandoned such as this that intrigue me um, to an extent that that it's just it's just part of who I am. I have no intent of of destroying anybody's property, and I just want to make that clear that if anything in this place is destructed, um, that you notice wasn't destructed before I came, then just know that it was not me who who was took part in that destruction. Anyway, we're gonna go in. All right, uh, this place is destructed, and I still like am am in I'm in awe of like how people can be to a point where they can destroy something like this, this extremely. So the first one is over here. This is the room that is the <laughs> dispenser. This is the bathroom. No, I'm not going in that shit. <laughs> now, to me, this looks like a bathroom, so we just wouldn't turn the corner. Yes. <laughs> and that's exactly what this is. This is just a bathroom. See, it's just pieces like this. Like, if I didn't turn that corner, I would never know that that's what it was. in the other room that we failed to go in is we really just failed to go across this this room entirely there's not like a bit here just a little bit look here look at the thing oh my god hey you wanna go Still intact. And this is the other place we can go in. I mean, not a whole lot.
that's pretty much it. That's the whole reason I wanted to come back was because we didn't really come to this part of the place. We just skipped over those two places and I noticed that when I was looking back at the footage and I wanted to come back to make sure that we saw it all. Okay, there was a manila envelope over here. These stairs do sound dangerous though. Anyway, so that's it for my return to this place. And then right out to the car. It's weird, I've been in this place once and I kind of know it. Know it kind of back and forth, left, right. As nerve wracking as I was going in there alone, that was uh, a kind of settled my things that I was uh, missing with it. Uh, I did get the pictures I want though, so I'm pretty proud of that. And I also did collect something from the manila, manila envelope, which I'm going to keep you in suspense on what that was. I'll tell you eventually, but not. So if you did enjoy this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. My name's Graffin. It's been real. Peace.